So this is a short video to everyone around the world who is interested in Kosovo and in uh, the foreign policies of the EU member states towards this country. Yeah, we are here in Prague at the 11th symposium on uh, Czech foreign policy. Very interesting gathering of very good experts uh, talking, discussing, exchanging ideas about many different important foreign policy issues. And we had the opportunity to be present uh, in this event talking about the Western Balkans, but also present our, our new book, uh, co-edited by James K. Lindsay and myself, Ioannis Armakolas. Uh, on uh, EU member states' policies on Kosovo, uh, the politics of, recogn of recognition and engagement, published by Palgrave. Um, it's an opportunity for us to, 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 on the one hand, to see how Kosovo tried to get recognitions and how it strategized about its foreign policy, but also how different member states engaged with Kosovo, recognized Kosovo in different uh, nuances in that picture. So I think really what we were trying to do is come up with something that was really policy focused, but at the same time had a very clear sort of academic um, value, if you like. And so really what we did is once we started to think about the different countries and made our selection, uh, so in fact the countries that we did cover is the United Kingdom, Germany, Poland, Czech Republic, Greece, Romania, Slovakia, Spain and Cyprus, um, is to then start thinking a little bit more about how um, their approach to Kosovo has differed. And instead of having this sort of direct split between the countries that have recognized Kosovo and the countries that hadn't recognized Kosovo, the non-recognizers, a much more interesting picture started to emerge of countries, some countries that had recognized Kosovo and had really good solid relations with it. And at one end, and at the other end, countries that hadn't recognized Kosovo and refused to have anything to do with it, but then you had these two other characteristic groups, uh, one which had recognized Kosovo, but had very little sort of economic, political, social interaction. And in others, such as Greece, for example, and Slovakia and Romania, that although they didn't recognize Kosovo, in actual fact, had varying degrees of, of interaction. So some, in the case of Greece, quite, quite strong, as it turned out. Yeah, this is it. We think it's a very interesting case of uh, recognition and engagement. An interesting case also for generally drawing conclusions about the Western Balkans and about the politics of statehood internationally.